what do you eat? Where does that food come from? What are your long-term plans for sustainability? And, uh, oh, some nice kind words. Thank you. Um, we're, we're slowly increasing the percentage of food that we grow ourselves, which I'm very happy about. I'd like it to go faster, but as long as we're, we're increasing that, it, it's good. So we're still buying a lot of food from town. Um, we also buy stuff from, from neighbors around here who grow stuff. We just bought a whole bunch of yam pea, which is like, kind of like yuca. If you don't know what yuca is, it's, it's a root thing. It's, it's a potato with a skin, roughly. And uh, let's see, what do we eat? We eat everything. Like I, I'm omnivore. I eat anything. Uh, <clears throat> I make a lot of pancakes, but my pancakes are like mostly coconut and banana, and then a little bit of other stuff. So we eat a lot of coconuts because I have unlimited coconuts, and then you know tropical things like bananas, yuca. Um, what else is grown here? I don't know. I just eat everything. Deshana makes bread and she has a kombucha thing going, so she makes that and some other fermenty stuff. Yeah, we 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 see lots of different stuff. Oh, we eat fishes. I have a fish trap out in the bay right now. And sometimes I go fishing when I have time. Huh, that roughly covers it, right? <laughs> when do we get to see what you've done on the other island? Pretty soon. I'm like over 90% of the way done the section that I I need to get done before I can really do anything there. So pretty soon, presuming I don't like, you know, hurt my knee anymore, which is it's feeling pretty good right now. But I'm still taking today off, just want to make sure it heals. Hey, why am I living on a, a different island than than Deshana? Well, he says and the three minions. The the girls, the kids We'll live in both places. They, I will have bedrooms for them, and they'll have bedrooms here too. And the other island is not far. Like I'm, I'm planning on setting up some parabolic dishes so we can talk through them to each other. You know, old telephone style. Uh, we also have walkie-talkies. Like I'll only be on a different island if we have 24-hour communication. So if anyone needs anything, and it's not far, we can go back and forth very easily. Um, and then, yeah, one of the reasons someone answered the question here. Another reason is that I wanted to make a place that's more hidden for various reasons. Um, it's just nice to have a place that, like, some some tourists came by this morning and just drove up to my dock. And I'm like, hi? And then they just turned around and left. And, you know, it would be kind of nice to have a, a place that's hidden where strange people aren't just going to drive up because they don't even know anything is there. That, that'll be nice. Oh, what's my favorite material to work with? Ah, it depends what I'm making. I really like masonry because it's long lasting. I really like stainless steel because it's long lasting. I guess I really like materials that last long. And those are not the easiest materials to work with, for sure. But, you know, I'd rather drill a hole through stainless steel, which is five times harder than drilling through regular steel, knowing that the stainless steel thing, once I make it, it's done. I'm not going to have to fix it when it rusts to pieces. So, yeah, basically just any materials. I like working with materials that are going to last and do a good job. Uh, I asked about the 3D printer. I just answered that in another thing. Okay, am I still bi building a bigger tower on the same island here, or am I moving to a new location for just for construction? Um, <clears throat> well, when I made the original plan to put two towers on this little island over here, we didn't have a bunch of other properties. But since then, I've bought a few other properties. One place in particular that I really like. Um, so basically, this island is not big enough for the two of us. Well... Basically, I just let Deshana have this whole island over here. And now she has lots of space. She can do gardening. She can make whatever mess she wants. She can put her stuff wherever she wants. And that works really well for us because she likes having her space. And I like having my space. And I'm I'm going to be on an island that's very close by. And I'm going to do whatever I want there. And no one's going to mess with my stuff. And it's going to be spectacular. I know you wanted to start a community. How's that going? Blah, blah, blah. Okay. I was waiting for someone to ask about that. The community is actually going pretty well. Of course, it depends how you look at it. Um, it's growing slowly. 
I've had a lot of people come and go, a fair number of whom were planning to stay, but just either weren't prepared or weren't interested enough, or, you know, there are a few people who came who were just plain horrible. But then about a year ago, a guy and his wife and his daughter came, and that was really cool because they have a daughter who can hang out with my daughters. And he's still here. He bought some land a couple miles that way. And, I don't know, a few months ago, I don't know, maybe like six months ago, he stopped talking to me because he got upset. So I asked some of my neighbors, what's going on with that guy? How's he doing? Is he doing all right? And they're like, oh, he doesn't talk to me. So apparently he's not talking to anybody. I, I don't know what's going on there. So I guess that was a flop. But then, kind of during that time, another couple came, and they're living really close to us, like, really close. They bought a little island that's very close to here. And they're amazing. They don't have any kids yet. I hope they get some kids soon, because that would be great. But uh, they're very chill. Um, the guy right now is working on a boat, like building a boat. And he borrowed one of my boat molds for that. And I wouldn't just let my... I wouldn't let anyone borrow a mold that I spent all this time making. But he, he also borrowed a mold for, the, for a fiberglass dome. And he returned it in better shape than I gave it to him. It was all cleaned and waxed, and oh, it was great. They, I don't know, these two are very, very appreciative. They don't expect things from me, but if I help them with something, they're just like, wow, thanks, that's great. And, you know, if they have some help to offer, they do. And they're very, very chill. And it's, ah, it's just, you know, after going through a whole bunch of people, it's just really awesome to find a couple people who are, who I mesh with, you know, kindred spirit kind of people. So hopefully I'll get more of those kinds of people, uh, you know, living in the area and the community will continue to grow. But yeah, just, just having, having a, a few people to get it started is, is really great. And then of course there are people who've, who are already living here and you know, there's some, there's a few cool people around. Uh, so yeah, overall I'd say the community is going well. It's growing slowly, but I, I knew that was going to be the case because most people today are not really going to be into the kind of lifestyle I want to do or or won't be prepared to do it. Or, you know, it's, it's an unusual thing to do based on popular culture today. So, all right, what's the next question? When you built the bulldozer to help move dirt around your fortress, you said you didn't want to expend yourself digging as you did when you built the road back in Vermont. I don't know what I said, but when I built the road back in Vermont, that was awesome. I mean, I got so strong. I lost a bunch of weight, but I got super strong. Maybe I said something about not wanting to eat so much food. But actually, about that, uh, I just gave up on trying to conserve energy and not eat so much. And as of, I don't know, maybe a year ago, I've maybe less than that, maybe like six months ago, I've just been eating tons and like doing tons and just not trying to hold back on anything anymore. Because for a while I was trying to eat less and kind of conserve energy. Um, all right, so what's, what's different about this new place that makes it worth it? Well, I mean, really, I just wanted to build a bulldozer because it's a super useful thing to have. It has its own onboard power supply that's like an infinity machine because it, it's powered by the sun, so I can plug things into it anywhere. It charges the, I mean, it powers the workshop, and I can plug things into it anywhere. Ah, it's just a really super useful thing. Okay, but one, one thing that's different about here than when I lived in Vermont is when I lived in Vermont, I, I had a pretty good idea that I wasn't staying there permanently. Like, it was a possibility, but I just had this idea that I'm, I'm probably leaving there. Here, I don't think I'm leaving. I think I'm staying here permanently. So I want to build cool, long-lasting stuff that's going to be useful for, for a long time. So like the bulldozer, it's all stainless steel and aluminum, nothing. Well, there's a few steel pieces internally, but it, this thing should last a super long time and be a really useful item. So I'm, I'm trying to build things like that that are going to be really useful and uh, long-term things, and I'm willing to put a fair amount of effort into those. How will you deal with girls growing up, wanting to go to school, college, town, etc.? I guess I'll deal with my girls growing up the same way any father would. I'm going to protect them, 
help them do whatever they want to do, help guide them in life, try to get them on a good path, help them, help them, yeah, basically I just want to enable them to have awesome lives. Take it one, one day at a time, find out what they want to do, where they want to go, give them advice and guidance, and I don't know, I mean, same thing any dad would do, I think. Hey Jamie, is your community growing? How many members are there currently? I would be honored to join with my little family. Oh, well, send me an email. Or if you don't have my, if you can't find my email address, send me another message on here. And let me know and I'll tell you where to thingy. Um, but yeah, and we can talk about it. The community currently, I mean, the community isn't really a, a set thing exactly, but the people that I've like actively brought here is five, three of whom don't talk to me anymore. I don't know why. But um, so I guess it's really two people besides my family who are here and are like fully on board and it's going really well. So it's, it's growing slowly, but it's growing. I talked about this a minute ago, I think. Ah, an Air Creek question. Okay, I have been thinking about some doing some air crete experiments i do have a compressor and the basic components I th i'm pretty sure i have everything to build a foamy machine to make air crete and then other than that i just need you know cement and some buckets and stuff so i think i have everything here to do it um, i'm waiting till i'm done some other stuff and then i can devote some time to doing that tremendous advantages in off-grid construction he says well, I hope so. I hope the experiments go well. I'm thinking of doing some of the upper layers of my house in Aircrete. Oh, speaking of the house I want to build, I do have a, a tentative picture of what it might be like. So here's one idea I'm thinking about. This is a cross section. So this is like a 10 foot story, another 10 foot story, like 3 meters, 3 meters. And then this ceiling would be really high, like 20 foot ceiling, like 6 meters. like. Tall enough to play basketball. See, there's a little basketball hoop. And here's a guy. That would be me. Look, I can jump around and play basketball. This would just be like wide open gymnasium area. Uh, the, the bottom floor will be workshop on one side and like kitchen and that kind of stuff on the other side. And then the second floor will be mostly open, but it's going to have like a lane that goes around in a circle. So you can like have a little running track to run around. And I'm going to have a banked floor. So you can run kind of up the wall and have a really banged thing. So you can actually run around this track really fast. You know, if I end up, I think I, I am really liking this design. And you know, this would be a top view. So this thing here will be what holds up the, the second and third floors, like the track here and then the floor up here. And there'd probably be eight of those, maybe 12. I just have to measure how that how it works out. Yeah, I answered that one pretty much. Yeah. Okay. Do you watch YouTube yourself? If so, who are your favorite YouTubers? Nah, I don't really watch YouTube. Like, I don't even watch my own videos. I just watch them enough to edit them and slap them on there. And then I probably at some point in the future I'll have more free time and probably watch more stuff. But I I spend very little time online. Like this, doing this right now, answering these questions is like the most time I've spent online in a while. Because in the, in the daytime, I'm just like doing work outside. In the evenings, I'm working on this video game that I'm really happy with. And, uh, you know, doing stretching and stuff. And, uh, yeah, I don't spend much time online. Oh, you know what's really funny? Speaking of online, people are always like, oh, you must get a million emails every day. Dude, I get like one email a week. It's pretty funny. I'm very inactive on email who are the new citizens on the islands the one we see corners of from time to time yeah I, I talked about them a little bit oh so happy they're here it's it's going really well with that what are your thoughts about religions like Islam I actually know next to nothing about Islam personally I don't have any beliefs like belief is not part of my thought process like I don't, I don't, well, usually the, the analogy or the example I give is that I don't believe the ground is, is going to be under me in the next few seconds. It'll probably be there, just statistically speaking, but I don't have to, whether or not I believe the ground is going to be under me, 
doesn't affect whether it's going to be there. It's either going to be there or it's not. So I just don't worry about it, and I don't worry about believing things. It's just, you know, stuff is there, and I just try to do my best in life, and everything else, cosmic, magical things, I, I don't know. I just try to do the best where I am and when I am at any point in time. And that's, that's really like the, that's really something I concentrate a lot on is, you know, being really present and doing my best right here and right now and not worrying too much about, you know, afterlife and before life and you know, gods and magical things and all that stuff. Okay, this one's basically how's the concrete dome doing. There, there's one spot where there's a crack that's moving and it was because it was new ground that I put there and it's settling. But there's, there's not, there's no, there are no cracks that um, uh, are structurally concerning. Basically, there's just like this one section of wall that kind of sunk, and there's a crack above it, like kind of like, it's just like, but it's, it's fine. Um, I'm not worried about it. I'll, you know, I'll fill it in when it looks like it's really done moving. But it hasn't been a problem at all. Um, yeah, everything's going pretty well. Oh, the drawbridge moat still happening. Well, not not really a moat, but the there are two drawbridges which don't currently draw. They're just sitting there. You know, the the idea of them actually drawing, you know, going up and down, that's that's totally a luxury thing. That's a low priority. So I'm working on more important things. But you know, presumably at some point in the future, I'll probably make the the bridges go up and down, or maybe at some point my kids will. I don't know. This is kind of a low priority thing. Like, it, it'll be fun, but it's not important. Hmm, this guy says, holy whisks, Jamie. I wonder if he's talking about, I have a few really nice whisks. Here's my uh, my whisk collection. Got some major heavy duty whisks here, yeah. That guy sold them to me really cheap and I was like, yeah, I'll take them. <laughs> 